What's going on, everybody? Back with some more NBA best bets. I got four picks for you guys today. Hopefully, we can pull off the sweep. And I meant to say WNBA. I think I said NBA. I'm not sure there. But anyways, guys, got two picks for WNBA, two for MLB in this video. If we can get 200 likes in this video and 50 comments, I'll pick a random comment to win a free month of VIP. So smash that like button. Drop a comment in the video. I appreciate all of you. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. I do have a couple plugs before we jump into these picks. The first one is going to be for our Patreon. If you guys want to get every play that we post, head on over to our Patreon. It's only 25 bucks a month, guys. That is uh, less than a dollar a day. Plus, we hit two more 10Xs yesterday. I forgot to open up the slips, so I don't have the slips to show you right now. But we cashed two more 10Xs, which is another 10 to 12 units profit from yesterday alone. We have killed it this month. Hopefully, we can do that again today. We'll have more of those four mans if you guys want to get in on it. I do want to give a shout out to DGF or Daily Grind Fantasy. If you guys are unsure what it is, it's a tool. It takes all of our plays from our apps like Prize Picks and Underdog, compares them directly back to sports books. It gives you a percent odds to hit, like here, closer. Uh, they have them over one and a half uh, <clears throat> map one kills, 58%. So, good value on a lot of plays, and you can get a lot of. Uh, a lot better plays on here than you can on some of the other sites that I have played on before, and that's for me, from my experience personally. But anyways, guys, if you guys want 25% off DGF, we do have a link down in the description. It is code ACES. You'll see at the bottom of the screen. Highly recommend you guys sign up. You get a free month of VIP for every month you keep DGF. So if you have DGF for a year, you get our VIP for a year too. So great, great value there. The only other plug I have for this video is going to be for the new app called Rebet. Rebet is a new sports book. It is uh, on iOS devices only for now. So highly recommend you guys get it. It's available in uh, 47 states. It's only not available in Michigan, Nevada, and Idaho. Highly recommend you guys get Rebet. Great platform. I love it. It's kind of like Fliff. You do have like Fliff coins or Rebet coins on here as well. So. If you guys are interested in this, use our link in the description. Code ACES when you sign up, get you a free month of VIP as well. So I highly recommend you guys sign up for Rebet. App looks clean. I like the color scheme. I like the orange. I think it looks good. So I highly recommend you guys sign up for Rebet. Link is down in the description. But let's go ahead and jump into these free picks, guys. So one game that I see that interested me a lot tonight in WNBA was you got the Sky versus the Fever again. So you got the Angel Reese versus Caitlin Clark thing going on again tonight. You know, there's been a little bit of beef on social media, not between the two, but mainly between the fans. So I don't really have a preference on the two. I'm, I just try to stay away from that stuff. But anyways, guys, we do have some good plays in here. I think one of them is, uh, I think Clark's dropping at least 16 and a half points tonight. So she's coming off rough, rough four of probably four of her last five games so i'm gonna go ahead and pull this up here we'll look at some stats here clark we'll go over here to points so she's been struggling a little bit over 16 and a half she's got 53 percent chance to go over minus 120 ish odds so kind of coin flip odds here she's only cashed it four of her last 10 games you can see she's been getting killed man head to head she had 11 points her last game versus the sky got smashed she played 37 minutes you can look at her three pointers she made two of nine 22% on her threes. If she shoots that volume again tonight, I don't think she's shooting 22%. I think she'll shoot a little bit more than that. And uh, also, she only shot uh, 36% on regular field goal attempts with 11 attempts. So I think she's going to have a better night tonight. She has cash this in 50% of her, uh, of her 2024 season, so 7 of 14 games. She had a 7-point game her last and 10 before that. She's due for a big game, man. She's due for another 20-pointer. I think she'll come close to that tonight. I like the 17 uh the 16 and a half right here value. You can look at the sky. They give up fifth in the league in points, which isn't a lot of points, kind of middle of the pack. But I like the Clark play tonight. I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to give her a chance. She has sold me before. I think uh, I think we're one and one right now with the two Caitlin Clark plays we've taken. It might be two and oh. I'm not sure, but I can't remember what the last one we took and if it cashed or not. But anyway, uh, Caitlin Clark, 16 and a half points is going to be pick number one. Angel Reese rebounds was looking a little bit good too, man. I'm not going to lie. I was started to look at it, but I decided to stay away from it. But anyways, if you guys are... Uh, interested in that you could take that play but i'm not going to use that as a free pick for sure but anyway caitlin clark 16 and a half points is our first pick for our second pick we got our girl Derek and hamby so i locked her in over the boards man 10 and a half rebounds we're going to pull up her uh stats over here on outlier.bet if you guys want to get outlier you get a seven day free trial link in the description i don't really get anything for it but you guys can sign up for that if you want i like the platform a lot so <clears throat> not points i'm going down here rebounds 
So you got Derek at Hamby, 10 and a half rebounds. They got 53% to go over, minus 138 on FanDuel, 135. It's minus 119 on, on prize picks. So you're getting way better value on prize picks compared to other books right now. So great value. She's cashed this in seven of her last 10. <clears throat> 50% of her last 20. She's cast it in almost 70% of games this season. So 69%, 9 of 13 games. Head-to-head, -head, she's been under four of her last five versus Atlanta. But if you look at the minutes here, two of, the game, two of these games, she only played 12 and 14 minutes. So you can scratch those two off. The other two, she did play 30 and above. She only got six and eight, so she struggled those. But her first game this season, the only game versus Atlanta this season, she had 14 boards. 37 minutes. You can look at Atlanta. They give up ninth in the league in rebounds, so they give up almost the most rebounds in the league. Give up a ton. I like this play. Cashing at 70% on the season. You can't get better value than that. I'm not saying she's going to cash, but she has a good track history so far right now, or track record, whatever you want to call it. I like to play a lot, so I'm locking in Derrica Hamby. If that's not how you say her, say her name, please tell me. Is it Derrica or Derrica? I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm going to call her Derrica Hamby. Correct me in the comments if I said that wrong. But uh, that is pick number two of the day. So those are our two WNBA plays. Caitlin Clark, 16.5 points. Hamby, 10.5 rebounds. Let's jump over to MLB for our next two picks. And we lock these in on the Sleeper app. I'll pull up a free slip for you guys here in just a moment. So stick around to the end to get that free slip. But first pick of the day is going to be for our man Tatis. So let's go ahead and swap over to MLB here on, a, on Outlier. You pull up our man Tatis. So Fernando Tatis Jr. got him over .5 hits. So right here, this play right here. Uh, it's 71% to go over, minus 250-ish odds. We got it on sleeper. It's like a 1.3x value, so kind of like a goblin play here. But Fernando Tatis Jr., he's cashed his eight of his last 10 games, 90% of his last 20, 18 of 20. He's cashed it four of his last five games versus the Mets. I like this play a lot, and he's cast at 73% on the season, 54 of 74 at bat. So love this play, man. One of my favorite on the season. He's a 277. Uh, he's hitting 277 on the season right now. He just ended a 17-game hit streak a couple of games ago. So I think he's going to have a good game tonight, especially versus uh, the Mets. I like this play a lot. And Tatis Jr. is one of my favorite plays over .5 hits. So I got to lock it in. I'm 90% sure this isn't on prize picks unless they pull something crazy. But they got hits, runs, RBIs. I actually don't dislike that. I actually like that play. But that's about, it's, to me, it's, it's more risky. But I like to play a lot. If you wanted to take that, you could on prize picks. I'll probably lock it in in one of the formats today. But uh, I do like Tatis Jr. at .5 hits as our first play uh, for uh, Sleeper. And uh, I actually did not post this Sleeper slip in Discord just yet. One moment. Let's see if I can pull this up for you guys real quick. If I can post this in Discord. Give me like five seconds. I should probably cut this out, but all right. So post that here. Then all I have to do is jump over to my Discord, open up this slip for you guys, and you got the slip right there. So it didn't take too long. So got Tatis over 0.5 hits, and you can see we got Corbin Burns over five and a half Ks at a 1.6x value, which I really, really like that play as well. So let's go ahead and pull up Burns. Burns, we don't take a whole lot of strikeout props because to me they're less. Uh, consistent but i do like this one a lot so corbin burns over six and a half strikeout or five and a half we got him at five and a half so it did get bumped it's at six on prize picks which is okay don't touch the six and a half do not touch six and a half but but uh, six is okay so this looks horrible so it says one of ten games but four of those were pushes five of those are pushes so six of his last ten he cashed that if you go to five and a half so you go to five and a half Cast six of his last 10. He cast at 60% of his last 20 and 58% on the season. Head to head, he had 10 his last game versus Philly. So love this play for our man, Corbin Burns. 57% on the season, not looking bad. At six, there is a lot of push potential here. If you don't want to take it for the push potential, you can you can you can fade it if you want. It is five and a half on sleeper. But looking at this play, he has 82 strikeouts on the season so far in 87 innings. So almost strikeout per inning pitcher. He's been really, really good versus the Phillies in the past. That's why, like I said, he had 10 his last game versus the Phillies. He's uh, striking out 22 of them in 58 at-bats, which is great, great records here. He's a 13% swinging strike strike rate on the Phillies. So he is, uh, or in general, but he is uh, missing bats a lot. So love to play for a man, Corbin Burns, over five and a half strikeouts. That is pick number two. And you can see our free slip here, $50 wins you. It's a double up pretty much. So 50 wins you, 101, a little more than a double up. I like to slip a lot. I think he's going to cash for us and got to lock it in. So those are our four plays for today, guys. We got Caitlin Clark, 16 and a half points over. Derek Hamby, 10 and a half rebounds over. And then you got Tatis over 0.5 hits. 
and then Corbin Burns over five and a half Ks as our four picks. But make sure you guys smash that like button, drop a comment for your chance at free VIP. Sorry for the last two videos missing. I've been really, really busy these last few days and uh, didn't get a chance to get these in, especially with Father's Day yesterday. We kind of celebrated it yesterday a little bit. But anyways, once again, happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Make sure you guys join our free Discord server. Head on over to our Patreon to get all of our plays. Hope you'll have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.